Good morning. It is first September and now it's 7.39 a.m. It is the first class for September. As you know, I'm doing the 30-day Pilates slash yoga challenge. So I got here super early because I woke up at like 6.30 and I tried to drag out the time but I just couldn't so I drove early so I'm here early and yeah. Hey guys, it is about 1.44 p.m. and it's 1st September on a Sunday and I am starting a Pilates slash flow slash yoga slash whatever resistant training challenge for the whole of September so it's kind of like, I wanted to call it like 30 days Pilates challenge but I realized that it's not always going to be Pilates I mean the classes that I go to It's not going to be Pilates always It will be a mix of like power flow or sculpt or basically yoga sequences And when I'm at home and I don't go to classes I will do Pilates Like at home Pilates Cause girl 30 days of like actual classes Ain't nobody got that much money I've already started my Pilates journey in August and I actually had how many classes did I have? I'm gonna put the number here but last I count it was like 10 classes like in August alone and I did start a bit in July as well like maybe a, a few classes the reason I wanted to do this challenge is because I have ADHD and I'm and I'm hyper fixating on Pilates right now Okay, other than that, since I'm not formally diagnosed I just wanted to, one, improve my core strength As you guys know, I had slip disc And of course, like working on your smaller muscles Or basically your core muscles It will actually help to push the bulge back in like take care of your spine if you have strong muscle to hold your spine in the bulge will not be pushed out i think that's how it works that's what my physiotherapist told me my posture which is also from my slip disc my huge motivation my number one motivation for this is to improve my slip disc symptoms i do still have symptoms like sciatica symptoms from time to time, not always, but I can still feel it. I mean, it's only been a year since my diagnosis. And yes, I've been taking steps to better my posture, my flexibility, and my core strength, but I haven't really been fully invested in it. So starting last month, and of course this month, September, I just wanted to commit more to my health third one would be my flexibility of course flexibility help with mobility as well so i believe that doing pilates and yoga would help towards this goal of mine and i also rope Haley in to be my accountability partner like we've been going to classes together like quite often i see her like three times a week these days so we just wanted to do this fun little challenge for us other than all those benefits that are listed like the goals that i wanted to see it is of course to instill discipline in me i'm not that bad when it comes to discipline i love structure i love discipline you can actually see it in my daily walks like i've been walking 10k steps a day for three months now daily and before that, like before my 10k step, since January, like end December last year, I've been aiming for 6k steps a day. In May, I increased it to 10k steps a day. So technically, I've been walking daily since end December 2023. So that's pretty good discipline to me. I just wanted to apply it onto different activities. When it comes to food, of course, I'm trying to take care of my nutrition but my advice when it comes to food is I am good boy! I am good boy! God, like, I can literally, not just can, I do literally eat it every day I know it's protein but the sambal is oily, it's fat, I 
and yeah girl anyways i'm just i will try to take care of my food intake or like basically like be more mindful of the choices that i make when it comes to food but on that front i am doing it like it's centered more around my pre-diabetic diagnosis so i will just try to reduce or completely not take any processed sugar or like refined sugar and like carbs i still need carbs of course like especially when i'm doing pilates daily walking daily girl we need them carbs so i'm not gonna cut out carbs that's insane but in order to control my blood sugar like glucose spike then i would just apply portion control when it comes to my carbs intake so just for record purposes i'm gonna list down my measurement and my weight as of today just to see what is the progress when we hit 30 days my weighing scale i don't know if it's super accurate i got a new weighing scale to actually measure the body fat on my body i hope that is more accurate because like it has the hand handle thingy but yeah i mean the weighing scale that i have now i just got it from mr diy we'll see what's gonna happen after 30 days i'm gonna i'm gonna check in from time to time excited okay so i ordered lunch from la juiceria mm, i already had breakfast earlier at kenny hills i ordered croissant chicken avocado so this is my lunch Three. i also take supplements this is omega-3 lecithin multivitamin and turmeric Hi, it is 2nd September and it's about 5.10 p.m. and I'm getting ready to go to my second class of the month so I'm doing reformer today it will only be my second time doing reformer I did it with Hailey and Sky back in June I think but I haven't done it since I've only been doing matte pilates anyways I've already had my hot girl walk during lunch hour because I know that my class will be at night and I wouldn't have enough time to clock my 10k steps in but yeah like had to do it but I still enjoyed it so I hope it's not jam I'll take you guys with me see you my 30 minutes pilates at home met pilates i followed move with nicole's pilates video and girl i feel like it was definitely intermediate at least if not like definitely not for beginners it was like it literally killed my glutes but i'm not sweating that much though but it hurts it burns heading for my seventh class of the month it's a free class at the flow i think it's sponsored by samsung they usually would have this kind of community class and it's very hard to get but i managed to get it so i'm heading there now with Haley.
Hello, hi, good morning. It is 15th September 2024. It's a Sunday and it's gonna be a long weekend this week, so I'm so excited. And I am heading out for Pilates. Ooh, ooh, I'm heading out for Pilates. Guess what? I recruited another member to the Pilates club. Okay, I mean, like in, within my circle, yeah, so I'm gonna go with. Diana and our Pilates class is at 10.45. I'm doing reformer again, so I'm excited. Like reformer is so exciting. <laughs> I think I love working with the machine, but I love matte Pilates. Matte Pilates is still my first love. Anyway, I have a matching outfit today, so I feel very, very cute and I'm so excited. I'll see you guys there. Hi, good morning. It is 17 September and it's a Tuesday. It's another public holiday. It's a replacement public holiday for us. <laughs> I didn't have enough sleep. I don't know why I've been having trouble sleeping lately. And I had to wake up at 6.30 because I have a reformer Pilates class at 8.15. And now it's about 7.23 a.m. And I need to drive there. Girl, why did I do this to myself? I mean, I love it. Like, I love the classes. But like, why am I not getting sleep? It's so fucking... Eclipse season is so fucking annoying. Anyways, um... I'll just see you guys later. Hey, hey, it is day 20 for my Pilates challenge and I am getting ready so that I can go out and beat the jam because I have a reformer class later at 5.30 and I'm gonna work from the cafe for a while and update on day 20 what are the changes that I feel I do notice changes in terms of like my flexibility my endurance definitely i could definitely hold planks longer and of course like i could do side planks or like i could do more poses that i wouldn't have been able to 
do previously like when I first started Pilates in July I couldn't do like probably 70% of all the poses in Pilates or yoga but I am proud to say that even though I couldn't hold it for long I could do most poses of course like there are still certain poses that I couldn't do mainly because of flexibility but if it's about strength like I could definitely do more poses nowadays 20 days in to my 30 days challenge there, there are days where i feel like oh i'm so tired like i don't feel like doing pilates today but show up for yourself always so the only reason i could get through it and i could get 20 days of back-to-back -back pilates or yoga is because i need to show up for myself i made a promise to myself and it is just me versus me so i just do what i can at the capacity that i could so if that means 20 minutes pilates and it's gonna be 20 minutes pilates if that means 20 minutes just stretching yoga then it's gonna be 20 minutes stretching yoga like i don't really force myself to the point or like to the brink of exhaustion because i do like i've been having sleep problems like i couldn't sleep most nights like i don't know why could be my cortisol but yeah i'm fixing that as well for the past two nights i've been sleeping well because i've been consuming chamomile tea and i've been reducing my caffeine intake little by little gonna make those changes i'm gonna go out and see Haley. see y'all Urban Spring like is having I don't know they're giving out like cold brew coffee and also ice cream so cute wow okay so I've been doing reformer for like the past week and a half right like I haven't been doing like hot matte pilates I mean I've been doing pilates at home but it wasn't hot pilates so guess what guys after two weeks my stamina went down like I couldn't really like hold a lot of the poses in hot pilates and today was hot pilates core god I'm so weak and it only took me like two weeks to like oh my gosh because like if you're used to like hot pilates it's different when you're doing reformer it's like totally a, it's like a different ball game damn so i need to balance it out like reformer with hot pilates i mean not on purpose but i haven't had ice cream in a while and it's raining but since i'm driving to kahyong i have to eat this ice cream or it's gonna melt ah mm. Keep going. 
I'm using a tripod guys, so I have to adjust it. Hello! Hi! Good evening! Today is 30th September 2024. It's a Monday and I've ended my 30 days challenge. Wow! Yeah, I've completed it! Like, it's so bittersweet. Like, I am gonna miss this era. <laughs> okay, it's not really an era, but you know what I mean. 30 days of back to back Pilates or like back to back resistant training. Girl, who was she? I don't know if there's any difference or like if you can see any physical difference, but I mean, I've always had muscles, but um, yeah. I don't think I've ever worked out for like 30 days straight. I don't think I've ever done that ever in my entire life. Like, okay, I'm gonna show my little Michelle. She's been in all of my videos, my working, ah, ah. Don't be mean, Michelle. Anyways, uh, I'm here to close things up. I feel amazing. I feel great. I think on my 20th day, I did recap a bit about like what are the changes that I noticed in myself or changes that I observed. And the same thing still applies. I do feel stronger. Like I think in terms of endurance, I definitely improve. My stamina improve and I do feel less bloated. Like that's also one of the most important thing that I notice is feeling less bloated. I'm sure it's also influenced by like my diet basically. Yeah, so that did help. And I don't know, I just feel overall really, really good. I feel great about myself. I feel stronger. I think like feeling stronger creates like a ripple effect. Like it affects my confidence, it affects how I approach a lot of things in life because like when you feel stronger you kind of feel like like dude like I don't care I can do everything I can walk everywhere I can carry anything like I can punch you and kill you um yeah like I don't mean kill like I can like protect myself yeah. anyways oh my gosh is there any difference I don't know yeah Anyways, I haven't done my measurement yet or like I haven't actually done all of the measuring yet but I will do it tomorrow morning and I will actually set it here. So guys, this is the result of 30 days resistant training challenge. I'm gonna summarize it here, like how many inches I lost if any and yeah this is the result so yay we did it Woo! i'm so happy I'm so excited bye